Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the computer restarted unexpectedly or encountered an unexpected error. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu, just soft click on the start button one time, type in reg edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match check a Mac or registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create it, the backup it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. Save it to the main location on your computer. Export range should be selected to all. And then file name, I would recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. And then just select save to save that. And if you ever need to import it back in, just with left click on file tab, select import. And simple as that, just to navigate over to the file location, so pretty easy. Now that you've done that, we're ready to begin. And that's going to start by opening up the HQ local machine folder. So you either double click on that or left on lower arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for setup, so expand the setup folder in here. Now there should be a status folder. Go ahead and double click on that. And now there should be a child completion folder. Go ahead and left click on that. Please take note of the path on the top of the screen if you need to pause the video at this time. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone in thus far. And now you want to direct your attention over to the right side and select the setup.exe file, so double click on that. Value data, you want to make sure it's number 3 here, so anything that's not 3, you want to delete it. Type number 3, make sure base is hexadecimal, and then select OK. Once you're done with that, with just closing out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.